May the Holy Trinity be with you this day and always on this blessed Proteonostasy or the descent into Hades. And um, I want to say that, you know, throwing the flowers today for those who are watching who have seen me in years past, um, this is not anywhere near the number of flowers that I throw uh, across the church from the choir loft. Um, I think last year I had about eight full baskets um, of flowers that were thrown and given to the children. I missed that this year um, to give them to children to have their little baggies open and, and uh, to place them in their bags and on their heads and to hear the noise in the church of the, the kids yelling uh, with joy as, as I throw the flowers. Um, we'll have to do something similar to that when we get back together again because I, I do enjoy that. And uh, I think it's a very special thing for the, especially for the small children and uh, the, the younger children to be able to receive these flowers and, and to have this very unique interaction in the church. I wanted to uh, thank so many of you who are sending pictures of your home church to me. Um, I'm putting a little scrapbook together uh, for myself of what the experience is like for you at home. So I thank you for those who are um, taking pictures of your living rooms or people sitting uh, down and, and kneeling or watching the service. Uh, I've even seen some of your pets that are um, slightly disinterested in the stream, but it's, uh, it's very funny to uh, see that as well, that your, your pets are with you uh, in your living space and they're uh, absorbing uh, the, the services as well. Uh, for one of the pictures, I said we need to, to make your uh, dog an orthodog so that uh, it, it can properly uh, be there participating at home as well. That's a joke, by the way, so don't, uh, don't go run and say that to wherever. Uh, Peter laughed. Yeah, I got one laugh. laugh. I got 100% laughter in the church today. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Um, but I, I wanted to thank you for sending me the pictures, and uh, please continue to do so. It, it makes my day. It really does. And um, keep sending in your candle requests. We're lighting your candles and, and having them uh, lit here. There's candles here that are from yesterday. Um, tonight, the candles will be out. All the candles will be out. And the, the light that I have, as you uh, should know, is the light from Jerusalem from two years ago. So it's on the altar table, and it will be here waiting for you when we open again. But I will blow out all these candles and we'll relight them uh, before the agape service. So we'll have all the, I, the candles that you're asking to be lit are actually over by the, the 90th anniversary icon, and there's some here too today. But we will have all of them. Any red candles that you ask to be lit for tonight will be out in front here lit for the agape vespers tomorrow so that you can see them. Um, any white candles, they're, they're obviously in the, in the narthex, but um, just so you know that that is, is being lit as well. I also wanted to, um, to tell you that uh, I appreciate, I know that many of you have, are having um, difficulties financially with um, just kind of the way things are shut down and also maybe with your own jobs uh, being slowed down. But we've been um, very blessed here in, in many ways from your love, not only from your outreach uh, to me, which has strengthened me throughout this, this time and, and especially throughout this Holy Week. So as much as you say that I'm helping you, um, your emails, your text messages, your phone calls are helping me. And the outreach that you have done, uh, financial contributions for uh, the Easter appeal, for our Assumption COVID response, for our candles and trays, for stewardship, uh, we are getting new stewards now during this time. When a time when everyone is speaking about finances, um, we see that love is coming in the doors of this church despite the doors being closed. 
and it's a great response from so many of you. So I, I want to thank you personally for that. I know that for some of you, I, it's, it's been very difficult to write letters to you um, as far as the U.S. mail. Uh, I've been responding to emails, but I wanted to personally thank you today on this uh, beautiful Proteanasasi for all of the outreach that you're doing, for the significant outpouring of love to this church, to keep the church going uh, in the midst of this closure and to keep the church moving forward. We've also um, approved uh, through our parish council upgrading the stream. I know for many of you, you've said, why, why is the uh, stream a little bit blurry and, and fuzzy? Well, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, whatever it was, uh, that was state of the art. And uh, we have a very complicated system here in our church. It's not just a single camera. Uh, there's three cameras upstairs. There's one camera downstairs. There's the ability to put more cameras in. The cameras can move. Via, we really have a television production studio in our choir loft. And the one module that will clarify the picture uh, has been approved by our, by our parish council. Uh, to be purchased and installed as soon as we receive it, um, and it will dramatically improve the, the, um, the streaming. Now, I also wanted to take a moment for those who are watching. There's people watching from all over the country and all over the world on this particular stream. Uh, from Washington uh, State, uh, we have uh, families watching there. From England, Indiana, Florida, Michigan, Iowa, um, California, the East Coast. I mean, they're all over the place. Even from Greece, there's been people who have, who have logged in and have sent uh, emails to me saying that they've watched the stream. So the outreach is, is beautiful. I'm sorry if I missed, um, I said Iowa, Ohio. I, I believe I said that, but we've also been receiving um, what I would call just blind donations to upgrade the stream. Uh, people who have never been inside this church physically, but digitally have been here every Sunday and continue to find this, their connection with God and, and the church. Uh, not because they're lazy or don't want to go out, but some of them have physical disabilities and are unable to leave their homes. Now, we're kind of a static three camera setup right now, but once we are able to have more people in church, you will know from the past that the cameras can be moved and followed and everything can be zoomed in or zoomed out or focused in. Um, but our, our streaming team uh, is doing this from their homes, from their living rooms. And uh, I wanted to thank them uh, the, the three pillars that we have on the, on the streaming team uh, who every day I'm talking to. Every day they're asking me about what, what the words are that need to go on the bottom, what camera angles are there, how to upload them to the internet uh, so that they can be put on YouTube, pulling the sermons off. It's an extraordinary amount of work for our volunteers and I wanted to thank them for that um, in, in this forum. Uh, to thank them from their homes and their love and their support and their dedication to making church available for all of you and having the ability to do that from their own homes as well. So thank you all so much for, for what you're doing. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be a priest in a church where the love is flowing through the doors day in, day out, daytime, nighttime, middle of the day and to hear so many wonderful comments and positive loving uh, embraces to me to what we're trying to do as a church um, and the appreciation um, for all the things that we're offering even for our chanter for being here and and coming and chanting the services by himself and and working so hard through the services um, it is a very unique time but it's a time that I, I, you know, it, you think about people when they go to the hospital 
and if you've been with someone in the hospital and they're sick and you're there, the, you're just there with them, sitting with them. You might not say anything, you might not know what to say, but you're there. It's the, the ministry of presence, as they say in chaplaincy, just being there. And so many of you are just being there for the church in this time, not just sitting there and doing nothing, but proactive and doing outreach to the church, supporting the church, showing love for the church in ways that are heartfelt and so beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Um, thank you for all of the, the beautiful expressions. And I pray that today is a day of extraordinary prayer and gratefulness for what we do have. And that this evening when you join, if you're able to join for the uh, Anastasi service, um, it will start at 10 o'clock. Um, just so you know, the Anastasi service as, as uh, directed by the Metropolis is not going to be the, as long as it normally would be. So there are some uh, changes. We will start at 10 o'clock with the, the hymn, Vefte Lavete Fos, which means come receive the light. And then very shortly after that, we will be proclaiming Christ is risen. And then we go into the Orthros and then into the liturgy. However, just prior to 10 o'clock, just prior to the start of the service, I will be reading the encyclical from the Metropolis, uh, the Easter encyclical, a few minutes before we start, um, as is uh, directed by our Metropolis to do. So I hope you're able to join us tonight. I hope your children are able to uh, join as well. And uh, if you have some candles in your home and you would like to light them and have them, uh, they can be even little tea lights or whatever. If you want to turn out your lights in your house and have your candles and sit with your uh, computer and, and sing with me, Vefte Lava de Fos, and to also be able to proclaim with me that Christ is risen this evening, I would be honored if you would do that. Uh, so I pray that you have a blessed day. May God strengthen you, guide you, and keep you safe and healthy this day and always. Amen.